Welcome back to another episode of HRC's At Home Fitness. Today, you see we have some um, special little guests with us. Today, we're going to show you a workout that you can do at home with your own child, um, how to operate using them as a body weight, or again, using them to do exercises with you. So, over here to my right, I have Haley, and her little partner is Kenley, and over here to the left is Dave, and his partner, Hudson. So, what we're going to do is just kind of warm up, so we're just going to march the feet in place. Now, again, you always have to remember, whenever you, you work with the kids, you know, it's not going to be the perfect workout for the time, but that's what makes it all fun, that you get to work out at home with your kids, learning how to exercise, how to involve them, and how to get them active um, in that fitness life. We're going to go ahead and stop our feet. We're going to take those arms out towards the side, and we're going to circle. And we're going to make big circles all the way around one way, and warming up those shoulders. And then we're going to take the arms, and we're going to circle them and go backwards, making big circles and waving hi to everyone at home. Are you guys waving hi? <laughs> All right, we're going to stop the arms, and now we're going to jog in place. Can we run in place? Run, run, run. Make your legs go really fast. Can you make your feet go super, super fast? Run, 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 run. Ooh, good job. As you see, we're going to start getting the heart rate going, and the kids, we just keep on encouraging them, making it a fun experience for them. All right, we're going to hold in place, and this time we're going to open your arms up, and we're going to scissor. We're going to open and cross. Open and cross. There you go. Scissors the arms. You guys are doing a great job. How are you feeling, Hudson? Good. How you doing, Kenley? Good. And swing it out. And let's twist that body. Watch Henley. She or Kenley, sorry, she's twisting her body and she's going side to side. So again, if a child starts doing an action or a movement, just go ahead and join in. That way it's their workout too. It's not you always telling the kid what to do, calling following along with them. Our last one we're gonna do is jumping jacks. You ready? Think we can count to eight and do eight jumping jacks? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're gonna become a windmill. So last time, open your arms up and we're gonna take our hand and we're gonna reach down and touch our toes. And come back up, good. And we're gonna reach down and touch the other toe. Good job. Warming up the side of the body and across the body. Should we take it how many more times, Hudson? Four. Four more times, let's go. One, two, three, and four. Well, now that the body's warmed up and we're kind of stretched out a little bit, Haley and Dave is, um, are going to go ahead and take the kids and show you how you can utilize them as your body weight. So you don't have to have those heavy weights at home. You can use the weight of your own child. So first thing we're going to do is squats. So Kinley is going to go ahead and get up onto Haley's shoulders. And then Hudson, he's doing it the piggyback style. So we're going to do eight squats. Counting down, ready? One, two, and if your child's old enough, you can go ahead and have them do the counting again and make it something that's kind of fun. Let's go four more times. And as you see, these guys, they're sitting down, they're pushing their booty towards the back, they're watching the knees over the ankles. And give it to me one more time. Awesome, great job. This time we're gonna use them and do a bicep curl. Haley is going to use Kinley and do a body roll with her while Hudson, um, Dave is going to go ahead and reach underneath the armpits and bicep curls. So again, we're doing a body weight for the upper body, make it fun for the kids. Uh, you know, depends upon the age of the kid that you have with you. There's those, those extra little hugs, those little extra kisses, um, things that you can do to make them nice and fun. How's that feeling, Hudson? Is that a nice ride that you're getting? Dave, are those muscles working there? Right All right. And the last one we're going to do um, is sit down on the mat, and they're going to help the, um, the adult do crunches. So they're going to sit on the feet. So Hudson, you want to sit on top of Dave's feet and make sure he keeps them down? There you go. All right. And as they come back up, they may high five the kid as they come back up to the top. High five. One. Or either help them count again. Two. Here's three, four, 
And it looks like we got some uh, smiles on the face. Six, here's seven, eight, let's go nine, let's go one more, you can do it. Reach up high. Woo. All right, so your core muscles should start feeling that again. Your abdominals are gonna feel it and the kids are having fun as you're exercising. You don't have to leave your home in order to do it. We're gonna go ahead and do this again, just a couple more rounds. You're gonna see I'm gonna do a little bit more of the uh, counting now. We're gonna start with the squats. Here we go. One, two, three, Four. and see the smiles on the kids as they're having fun along with it and also the adults it's a great time to have with your kid let's go two more and this is the last one and right away pop them off get ready to do that bicep curl ready. here we go ready one two so doesn't matter let's see Kenley's probably weighing around 20 ish pounds Hudson do you know how much you weigh you weigh 40 you weigh about 40 pounds, so you got the different weights that you can use, 41. Okay, let's get two more in, and last one. And we're gonna go back to a set of crunches. So as you see, we're doing each exercise three rounds, and we're doing it eight to 10 times. Um, if the kids wanna do it more, again, you can always increase your numbers and reps. Right there. Oh, Kelly, are you gonna do some crunches with Haley this time? Ready. Okay, ready, set, and go. that it's the workout for you as the parent. As you see, Haley's working with Kinley where she's working and learning how to do some proper um, core work also. Working her abs, teaching them some good health, fitness exercises. And one more. Hudson, this round, do you think you can do the uh, squats with Dave? Yeah. All right, so this time we're going to go ahead and let Hudson join in on our exercises. Kinley, you going to do some of the squats with Haley? Squat next to me this time. And uh, sometimes, you know, if the kid needs it, you can always hold on to their hands and you can face each other and um, do your squats that way too. So just holding hands. And here we go. You want to squat by yourself? Let's go. Down, one, up. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one more, eight. All right, bicep curl. I think this one, should we switch it up? You guys want to do a mountain climber? Do you know how to do a mountain climber? Yeah. No. Nope. Sure, yeah. Kayla, you know how to do a mountain climber? I bet Haley and Dave will get down to do it. Like this. You're going to put your hands down and you're going to make your feet go really fast. You want to put your hands down, and you're going to bring your knees in and out, in and out. Ready? There you go. In and out. One, two, three. You got it. You climb the top of the mountain. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So again, switching things up, changing it around. The kids are having a great time um, incorporating something different. This time, we're going to have the kids lay down and do the crunching, and the adults are going to hold on towards the feet. So Hudson, you want to lay down? And Dave's going to hold on to your feet this time, and you're going to crunch all the way up. There you go. One. Come back up. Two. Okay, you ready? Sit up. One, one. Oh, and we're gonna go all the way down and go again. Two. There you go. All the way up. Can you give me a high five? You can give Amy a high five. All the way up. One more. Crunching it up. All right. All right. Hey. All right. So Today, this was just three different exercises that we've done, three rounds, three exercises, eight to ten times. Kind of go on the vibe of the kids, see how they're doing, and you know when they're done, they're going to definitely let you know it. So, again, we're going to uh, come back into another little episode using um, some older range of kids and showing how you can actually get your kids involved doing exercises with you also at an older age. So, thank you, Kenley. Thank you, Hudson. And Dave and Haley, and I'll be back with a couple of other kids and a, another mom. 
From senior trips to toddler adventures and youth sports, the Hayes Recreation Commission is your one-stop shop for fun. Check out our 2015 fall and winter brochure for a complete list of scheduled events and classes. The fun times continue in the HRC Wellness Center where you can enroll in personal training and memberships. The HRC provides fun and fitness for all ages. Visit HayesRec.org, call 785-623-2650 or stop by 1105 Canterbury in Hayes to learn more. older kids with us. Uh, today we have, with Haley, we have Jada, and with Dave we have Kyrie's. So again, um, it's exercising with your kids, but now we're going to be using these kids and they're going to also be doing the exercises with you. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and get in our squat position, and we're going to do some um, frog jumps. So we're going to bend down, touch the floor, and then jump up and touch the sky as high as you can. You ready? Set. Go. One. Two. Four, five, six, seven, last time, eight. We're going to go ahead and come into a plank pose. First the adult's going to do it, and then we'll uh, switch it around. So you're going to get in plank style. You're going to have your feet open nice and wide as the adult. And then the kids are just going to go ahead and jump between the legs and from one side to another. So let's go. Let's do it five times. One. Go again, that's two. And the kids can decide, you know, do they want to do it with a single leg? Do they want to be doing a double leg hop? How many is this, Kyrie? I lost count. Uh, Last time? Yeah. All right, good job. Let's switch out. We're going to have Kyrie down. We're going to have Jada down. And now the adults are going to go ahead and do their jump throughs. Ready? Do it five times. Two. Three. And you see how? adults are kind of staying on the toes and the balls of their feet and they're lifting those knees up. All right, super good job. We're going to now go back and work into the core. Um, we're going to do a med ball. If you don't have a med ball at home, a weighted ball, um, basketballs can work, volleyballs, bouncy balls, any kind of equipment that you have at home. So they're going to start in the sit-up position, and they're going to roll down, and as they come back up, they pass the ball to their partner. And they're just going to count out eight to ten of them again on their um, own. This is the time that you want to talk to your kids, make sure that they know the correct form that they want to be using, making sure they're using their core, they're not pulling on their neck muscles. It's a great time to get together again with your child and do some exercises. And as you can see, I see some smiles on the face, so I think this group also is having fun working with them. So uh, have you guys hit eight or ten? All right, we're going to bring it back up. We're going to take it through another set of the squat jumps, and I think I'll join in with you guys on this one. Let's go ahead and jump out at it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last time, and eight. All right, adults, get down, and we'll get ready to go through another set of the planks. Kiddos, are you ready? Okay, yeah. let's go across again five times. Here we go. One. Take it back. Take it across two. Now, this is a brother and sister, so you may see a little bit of competition between the two of them, seeing who's going to go over faster and higher. And this should be your last one. Good job. Let's switch it out. Let's get the kids down on the floor. And now we've got the adults. Co-workers. Co-workers. Now they may be doing the same thing, a little bit of competition between each other. I don't know how it worked out either. We got the girls against the guys, so main things, have fun. All right. What are we doing now? Sit ups. So go ahead and grab those balls again. Go ahead and count out eight to ten of them. You always want to kind of work on your child. Um, I mentioned it with the younger ones, also with the older kids. If they feel like they can do more, uh, they want to count out more, more repetitions, more rounds. If the kid says, hey, I think I got a different idea, you know, follow their um, advice too. That way there can always be a partnership in exercising with your kids. All right, last round. Kyrie, you want to switch it around anyway? Can we? Nope. You like frog jumps? Jada, you like frog jumps? 
You want to do a different exercise? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. We'll do another set of frog jumps. You ready? Reach your arms up towards the sky this time. Jump it up and then squat down. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, let's get back down in the plank pose. Last time through, All right, set, go. One, Woo, look at the speed that we're starting to get. Kids start to feel a little bit more comfortable with the exercises they're doing. Last, whoa, <laughs> last one, good job. Are you all right, Kyrie? Yeah. Get those feet going. Um, he didn't notice, maybe Kyrie is in uh, flag football, so he's working on those skills again that you kind of do the fast feed and the flag football. So exercising, um, working out for whatever events or games or practices they need to be doing. And then we've got Haley and Dave who are runners, so they are working on their high knee skills for turning those leg muscles and those glutes. All right, this is the last core. And after we get done with the set of core, we're just gonna have everybody just kinda stay on the floor and we're just gonna do a nice little stretch. We warmed up with the younger kids and now we'll finish out with the older kids showing how you can do some stretches with them at home. And Dave and Haley, you guys getting a good workout here today? Yeah. <laughs> I kinda get the easy part today, just get to do the talking while they're doing all the work down here, so. All right, why don't you just stay there on the floor. Um, again, we're just gonna do the feet to feet and we're gonna do a little bit of stretching. So if you guys wanna keep the feet together um, and reach hands and you're gonna do kind of like a rowboat. Of course, Dave's legs, nice and long. So it might be a little bit harder to reach out for Kyrie's hands, but if you look at Haley and Jada, uh, they're kind of using each other. Kyrie, if you want to, you can maybe move your feet to the inside of Dave's. That way you guys can reach out hands and Dave's gonna pull you his way. Stretch those hands and then Kyrie, you pull Dave. There you go. Feel the stretch into the hamstrings. Also a nice stretch into the back. Just do it a couple more times and then just give it a breather. All right, so both of you guys just go ahead and bend your knees. We're just gonna stay in the sitting. We're just gonna twist and we're gonna look towards the front. We're gonna open up the back. And again, just relax into the shoulders. And take a nice deep breath in and switch it around the other side. We're gonna have you guys come down onto your hands and knees and we're gonna do our cow cat stretch. So on towards your knees, palms underneath of the shoulders, knees under. And we're just gonna again release into that back, rounding it up and down. A couple more times. And then kiddos, we're gonna send it into a down dog. So Haley and Dave's gonna join us. And all we're gonna do is take those feet and we're gonna walk them all the way up to the backside of our hand. Hold here, stretch those hamstrings. And then slow, good job, Jada. Lay it all the way up. And breathe it out. So again, I wanna thank you for watching our episode of HRC At Home Fitness. We had Haley and uh, Jada with us, and then we had Dave and Kyrie's. So if you ever have any questions or you want to know about more of how to exercise with your kids, just give us a call and we'll give you some information.